हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो ब्रॉड टू यू बाय स्मार्ट एडियो हब मुंबई टूडेज टॉपिक इज ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर एज यू कैन सी द ट्रांसफॉर्मर कंसिस्ट ऑफ एन एसी जनरेटर दैट इज इट विल रिक्वायर एन एसी सोर्स ऑफ सप्लाई आल्सो वी विल फाइंड दैट देयर इज अ कॉइल दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस एसी एंड this coil is said to be the primary coil the primary coil is wound on a soft iron core also on the other side of the soft iron core is another coil as i can uh see here that is connected to an output which is a lamp in this case <coughs> excuse me so instead of a lamp you can connect any of the things so output can be anything this is just for the sake of representation so this is about the basic construction of a transformer also one thing to note is that the primary coil is always connected to an ac source and the output will always be connected to the secondary coil so this has to be taken care of okay now with this basic understanding let us move ahead to the working of a transformer also before that i will show you a section so after every explanation i will take you to a section where i have typed in the notes for you so in case you do not have the notes for the particular topic you can simply copy them down from the screen so I just now explain to you the construction of a transformer. This is the exact wording for the construction of a transformer. So, in case you are asked to explain the construction of a transformer, this is how you can write your answer. And again, this is accepted by the CIE. So, if you want, you can pause the video and you can note down the construction. Okay. Now, let's move ahead to the second part. so after construction comes the working so this is about the working of a transformer as you can see again the same thing there's a soft iron core and this soft iron core has got turns of primary to its left and turns of secondary coil to its right there's output which is a lamp in this case input which is an ac generator now i'll tell you exactly how to write your answer for the examination and before that i'll explain to you the working of transformer also there is a little bit of pre previous knowledge that you need to have in place before you understand the working of a transformer so if at all you have missed out on certain things in the electricity lesson in the previous units i will just give a short recap of what you need to know for understanding the working of a transformer always keep in mind that if this is the north pole of a magnet and if this is the south pole of a magnet always there is a magnetic field the direction being from north to south so this you are aware of and obviously the field lines continue beyond the two poles okay so now the magnetic field lines run from north to south if you take a wire like this and if you move it in between if you keep vibrating that or oscillating that up and down up and down in between the poles of the magnet then you will find that if you will find that if at all you have connected say a voltmeter across this wire so you will find that if at all you've connected a voltmeter across this wire that volt voltmeter will now give you a reading so what is it indicating it's indicating that when a conductor cuts the magnetic field lines and emf is induced in the conductor not only that but if 
in this case my conductor was moving it was cutting the magnetic field lines where the magnet was stationary if i have another situation wherein i am moving a magnet suppose this is my north and this is my south pole so suppose i am moving a magnet into a solenoid so this is my solenoid okay if i'm moving my magnet inside the solenoid so these are the coils of the solenoid so when i move the magnet in when i move the magnet out and if the solenoid wires are connected to a voltmeter again even you can connect an ammeter so you will find that when it is moved in rather it is better to take a galvanometer here because galvanometer will actually show you the deflection in both the directions because you are going to take the magnet in once and then take the magnet out once so when the magnet is moved in the galvanometer will show a deflection in one direction there is a zero at the center and when you move the magnet out of the solenoid it will show you a deflection to the opposite side so that indicates that again this solenoid though it is stationary it is cutting the magnetic field lines and because the magnetic field lines are cut an emf is induced which can be seen in the galvanometer so ideally speaking what is happening is when a conductor cuts magnetic field lines an emf is going to be induced in the coil or the wire another thing again here in the above example also a galvanometer is ideal because it will show you the deflection to the left deflection to the right because again the wire will be moved once up and once down okay so this is about the induction so electromagnetic induction is what inducing current into the wire which you have done in both the cases because this in the second example here because the wire is wound around a hollow cylinder is said to be a solenoid the same wire when you are holding it straight you just simply call it as a wire so there is no difference practically except for the shape that is the coils make the difference if it if the wire is coiled you call it as a solenoid so ideally speaking this is how an emf is induced in the coil so with this basic knowledge now let us see the working of the transformer now over here this as you can see is an ac generator so ac generator is going to generate an ac current now that ac current will flow into the primary coil and this current in the coil will be an alternating current because it's a, it's an ac generator so there will be an alternating current in the primary now because there is an alternating current in the primary it will create an alternating magnetic field so remember only an alternating current creates an alternating magnetic field and the alternating magnetic field will pass through the soft iron core and then the alternating magnetic field will cut the coils of the secondary so again the same thing is happening the magnetic field is being cut by the coils of the secondary and remember it is the alternating magnetic field so the alternating magnetic field is cut by the coils of the secondary and because of this a current will be induced in the secondary or you may say a voltage will be induced in the secondary so this is how basically a current in the primary will generate a current in the secondary now like i mentioned you need to have an ac generator because it's the only ac generator that is going to induce a sorry is going to create a ac current and that ac current will have an alternating magnetic field which will pass through the soft iron core and that magnetic field will cut the coils of the secondary so you only have to have alternating magnetic field to cut the coils of the secondary now what happens if i put a dc source instead of an ac source so if i use a direct current the direct current will not create an alternating magnetic field 
and because the field is not alternating there will be no emf induced in the secondary so a direct current will not generate an alternating magnetic field and therefore no current will be induced in the secondary remember it is only the alternating magnetic field that is in the core because of the alternating current that cuts the secondary coil that is able to induce an emf in the secondary coil so without the ac source you cannot have uh, an emf induced in the secondary because see there is no physical contact between the primary coil and the secondary coil it is only the alternating magnetic field passing through the soft iron core and cutting this secondary coil that an emf is induced in the secondary now i shall give you in the notes below the exact wordings to be used while answering your uh, cie papers where they are asking you the working of a transformer so those of you if you want uh, to write down the notes you can pause the video and take down the notes so these are the notes working of a transformer an alternating current in the primary coil produces an alternating magnetic field in the soft iron core this alternating magnetic field cuts the secondary coil and induces an emf in it the lamp lights as the induced voltage causes a current in the secondary coil okay fine so now let's move ahead now the next part obviously will be the transformer equation so here's your transformer equation section again have a look it's the same setup there's no change in the setup again the same soft iron core secondary coil primary coil the ac input and the lamp what is to be noted is in the entire transformation uh, even the numericals that you'll be solving you will be having to use an equation which connects the voltage which connects the number of turns and sometimes when you talk about the efficiency of transformer therefore you'll have to talk about the input power being equal to the output power if the transformer is 100 percent efficient that i shall teach you in the next video but today i shall talk about the transformer equation wherein there will be a relation between the voltages and the number of turns of the primary and the secondary coil so now let's have a look at the transformer equation okay here's your transformer equation and the equation tells you that the voltage across the primary divided by the voltage across the secondary is equal to number of turns of the primary upon number of turns of the secondary or in another words vp upon vs equals np upon ns okay so this equation is basically the transformer equation so and it is used if at all you have to find out either the number of turns of uh, some coil or the voltage across some coil so in that case there will be three quantities out of four given to you and you need to apply again i'll be covering the numericals in the entire video which is based on numericals So that's about the transformer equation. I hope you have paused the video and taken down the uh, equation as well. Now moving to the next section. As you can see it is about the step up transformer. The word step up means to increase. Now over here look at the number of turns of the primary coil. The primary coil has fewer turns as compared to the secondary coil. So in a step up transformer the number of turns of the secondary coil is greater than the number of turns of the primary coil. So obviously if the number of turns are greater in the secondary coil there will be a higher voltage in the secondary. So remember a step up transformer always has the voltage of secondary greater than the voltage of the primary. And remember look at the construction is the same soft iron core, AC input, primary coil, secondary coil and output which is again a lamp which I have taken as a standard thing. So now over here the only thing that you will be changing when you want to describe a step up transformer is the number of turns of the secondary. Okay. 
let's have a look at the notes if you want you can pause the video take down the notes okay this is what it is fine now let's move ahead this is about the step down transformer again the basic construction is the same there's an ac input there's an iron core there's a primary coil secondary coil and output which is a lamp in this case so once again it's a step down transformer step down meaning the voltage has to be stepped down now in the previous example when we wanted to step up the voltage we increase the number of turns of the secondary coil so if you want to step down the voltage definitely you'll have to reduce the number of turns of the secondary coil so as you can see to the left the number of turns of the primary coil is more than the number of turns of the secondary coil so again let us look at the notes that are given to you okay like i said a transformer in which the number of turns of the secondary is smaller than the number of turns of the primary is called as the step down transformer and for a step down transformer number of turns of the primary is greater than number of turns of the secondary that means voltage of primary is greater than voltage of the secondary and with this we are done with the transformer part one of the lesson wherein i have explained to you everything right from the construction to the working and to the difference between the step up and step down transformer and along with that the transformer equation so that's all in this video and further videos will be covering other concepts like numericals also the efficiency of a transformer so that's all in this video i hope you like watching my video please do subscribe to my channel if you like it thank you